switch topics for a second. Jam Master J, since the last time you've been up here, and I think, uh, you know, the, the, the people who were, who allegedly are responsible for his death are going on trial. Are responsible, correct. They're yeah. going on trial. Yeah. But it's come out since then that one of them um, might be responsible for the death of your friend, your good friend and brother. Stretch. Stretch. Yeah. Street's been saying that? that for years. Oh, yeah, I've been through that. Uh. Street's been saying that for years. Streets has been talking about this for a very, very, very long time. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dad. I'm a husband. I'm a family man. I am not going to risk my freedom. In, even though so many times I wanted to really just get down dirty in the street and put a hurt on somebody, I have to think about my family first. Stretch meant so much to me. So much to me because I was watching a young man chase his dream and coming up out of the streets. I was watching a former drug dealer come out of the streets and chase his dream of making music. And for him to get murdered in the streets really, really, really hurt me because he had so much potential and he was a father and his daughter was so young and I'm her godfather and, and, it, and it bothered me. That's why now you'll see me when people try to disparage his name when it comes to whatever happened to Tupac and they try to put him in there like he set Pac up in the quad studios. That's why I fight so hard to maintain mm -hmm. that man that I knew, you know, and the streets have been talking about that in Queens for a lot, for a lot, but nobody was really able to connect the dots because after Jay got killed, nobody was talking. So I guess, and I'm hoping that the prosecution got a star witness that was in that studio when Jay got killed. And those people were close to Jay because they got buzzed into the studio. Correct. They weren't no strangers. They got buzzed in. And I've been in that studio a million times. If they didn't know you, they weren't buzzing that door. If they didn't know you, they were not buzzing the door. And a lot of times, even if they knew you, they'd be asking you, yo, who you got a meeting with? And they would go get that person. I'd say, yeah, yeah, let them in. So mm. that's been going on for a long time, man. And, and I'm just glad that it's, it's, it's finally coming to the light. I'm very happy about that. Yeah, I mean, um, it's interesting that, but you know, th th that's how the streets are. Like the street, even if the cops can't prosecute or the, the justice system can't prosecute, they can't prove it in a court of law. The streets typically talk. Yeah. You, you hear it, you know it, but you just can't prove it. That's right. Yeah. 